My name is Eric Soren. I'm with the Alabama State Lands Division. Right now we are here on the Grand Bay Savannah Forever Wild Track in uh, southern Mobile County and uh, the, the objective of this trip this evening is to flush and capture yellow rails which is a uh, small marsh bird, very secretive, we have very little information on. Uh, it is a winter inhabitant along the Gulf Coast and the Atlantic Coast and uh, very little is known about the winter ecology and distribution of this species. So one of the objectives we're out here is uh, we know that they are present out here. They like areas that have a good herbaceous cover, that is a lot of grasses intermixed with uh, some scattered trees. Uh, we call those areas savannas. And we've had our most success flushing and capturing those birds in those habitats. Because they're present, we're looking at certain things like their uh, winter ecology, their habitat needs. What what attracts them to this area? Why are they coming to this habitat here in, uh, in Alabama? And uh, nobody's explored this to this point, and so it's kind of an unknown. Collectively, this researcher is uh, capturing these birds and uh, outfitting them, doing these things and answering these questions. So, and we're proud to be a part of this effort uh, as far as understanding this species better. We're trying to develop a standardized monitoring protocol for these birds oh. and. Uh, there's not much really known about their winter ecology or even uh, breeding ecology because they're so secretive. So we hope with these efforts uh, we'll get a better handle on their, their winter ecology and know more about these, these uh, secretive marsh birds in general. So tonight uh, we're going to have some folks out and we're going to use a rope and drag it over the marsh to flush birds. You can't do it during the day, they don't flush, but at night they actually do. We use spotlights and then we run after and capture the bird. Here, here, here. Oh, sorry, buddy. Got him? I got him. Go for it. So, uh, right here we just got a captured yellow rail here. Um, they winter down here in the uh, pine savannas down in Mississippi and Alabama, all across the Gulf Coast. Um, you can just tell that they're a yellow rail because when you get a nice lighting on them, you can tell it's kind of a, a yellowish brown. Um, generally in their non-breeding plumage here, it's hard to tell if they're male or female. Once they get uh, breeding, they'll get a nice yellow bill here, but right now it's, it's pretty nondescript. Um, you know they're a yellow rail when flying because that wing patch right there, you can't really point to it. Uh, <laughs> when they're flying, they're flying off. They, it's Step a bright in. white. You also, on some of these birds, you have um, a lot of speckling on the top. Uh, it kind of varies how much you have. This one doesn't really have a lot of speckling on his head and um, down his body. But this is a pretty good example. Yeah. All right, this is your subject. That's a good shot. Sometimes. Once we get the birds, we band measure them and uh, we take a lot of the measurements where we can kind of better understand the species itself, 